If you're watching this video, you most likely know those alpha, sigma, beta, cuck male types. The ones that try and classify men under these irrational, illogical hierarchies that are literally just made up and have no real world value. We all know it's a common thing on YouTube for a YouTuber to find one of these individuals and make fun of them or whatever the fuck they're saying. Well, I found a dude who's genuinely one of the most unhinged people I have ever seen. His name is David Hammond. He's a TikToker. He's got 30K, so he's not the most influential in the world, thank God. Let's take a look at one of the most unhinged insane batshit crazy tiktoks that i have ever seen in my life why men are no longer dating women now i know what some of you are gonna say david that's because men are dating other men or women are dating other women and that actually is true but it's not what we're speaking of in today's video Guys, what you need to understand in a nutshell is that masculine energy, which is pervasive in every single man, is very erect, okay? Think of literally like a penis, guys. What does it do? It builds, it builds, it builds, and then it ejects, it shoots out. Do you see what I mean about unhinged? Like, one thing I can appreciate about this video in particular, though, is it acknowledges gay people, it acknowledges queerness, but it doesn't demonize it. It's not like, oh, fuck, it's a bad thing that gays exist or that women are fucking other women. He doesn't present it in this video as a bad thing. Now, if he does it in other videos, I don't know. I I don't want to watch this dude's entire discography. I feel like I'd probably kill myself by the end of it. But that's one thing we can all appreciate about our main man David right here is he's not homophobic, at least openly. We don't know what's going on behind closed quarters. That's not like foreshadowing for later where I expose like homophobic DMs. No, like I, I I don't know. I don't think he is. He doesn't have the vibe, I don't think. Let me take that back. I don't think he's openly homophobic, but I do think he can get real microaggressive when it comes to like that queerness and transphobia and homophobia bullshit. But anyways, I digress. Back to him talking about the penises and shit. That's a fucking insane way to think about men and when i saw this the first time i was like this shit has to be satire but i've looked through a couple of his videos and it don't seem to be satire because the thing is if it, this is satire if this is satire holy fuck this motherfucker is a good actor but i don't think it's satire i think this is his genuine opinion i definitely think that he thinks of men like the wrecked penises and their energy is the semen that shoots out of the tip which is a bit odd i'm gonna i'm <laughs> <laughs> I mean, things are obviously headed down a weird direction with this. This is not going to be a normal fucking thing. It was, it's already not normal. It never bodes well when someone starts reducing that behavior and the energy of a fucking gender down to the gender fucking body part down to the, gen to the gender genital. That never bodes well for their take, I'm going to be honest. But there's still like 50 seconds left of this. He could pull through with a fucking banger, a fucking domer, okay? Builds, it builds, it builds, and then it ejects, it shoots out. So with men, this is building up your energy and then shooting into business, into your fitness, into calm conquering the world. Do you understand? Where with women, feminine energy is much more receptive. Think of like a flower or a cup, something hollow, like a vagina, which is what they have. I don't know if it was openly transphobic or whatever the fuck, because I don't know, it was just a really weird way of saying that. Like a vagina, which is what a woman has. That's an odd way to say that, I think. Let's think about all this pseudo-scientific, pseudo-spiritual bullshit. Once you look at it for like more than two seconds, I mean, I, fuck, I, I had, I looked at this for two seconds, I was like, this is off. But like, once you think about queer people, you, you put queer people into this space that this dude's talking about. It's like, what the fuck? Because he's talking about the men and women, penis energy, did over fucking vaginas. It's like, okay, first of all, there's people on the gender spectrum that don't, that don't live their life according to this, and they get along just fine. They interact with the the gender they're attracted to, da, 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 and it works out perfectly fine. What the fuck are you talking about? You're talking about fucking cups and flowers and shit, and it's like, what the fuck are you doing? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's still half the video left. We can, we, we can still gleam some wisdom from this, I'm sure. It blurs and it nurtures, it attracts. It is very supple, very different. One ejects, it builds and it grows, and the other nurtures, it attracts and it grows from within. Do you understand? I'll be honest, I don't think this guy fucks because let me tell you, I've seen a couple of vaginas <laughs> eject. Something about lesbian sex, get the pussy doing some strange things. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> this works beautifully because this is what creates attraction, okay? It's through polarities, guys. Masculinity and femininity. Yin and yang. Hot and cold. Day, night. Yes, no. What the fuck are you talking about? First of all, I just want to say one quick thing. Femininity and masculinity. That shit is fucking not real. It's real in the sense that, like, it's a thing that it's a social idea that we've constructed. Blah, 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 but it's not, like, a fucking biological thing. It's not some fucking shit that's like, oh my god, you're born this way. Fucking femininity and masculinity is fucking roles. We have attached people. We, we, we pressure people to grow up in a certain way, act a certain way according to the fucking genitals that they have on their body that shit is not but what the fuck are you talking about all these fucking crackpot theories about masculinity and femininity just removes all the agency down from the individual in this situation because it's like oh the man the man's masculine da, 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 the woman's feminine da, 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 da. but it's like you realize people are people there's a spectrum of things they can be they can be whatever the fuck they want to be some men are more feminine than the fucking women in their life and that's fine that's fine that's not a fucking problem sometimes there's gay people like i said gay people exist there's fucking masculine men who date other masculine men who fucking like the lumberjack 
carjacking shit. Spartans was fucking other Spartans, and those motherfuckers are like some of the most masculine men alive around. They was fucking each other. None of this shit makes sense. None of this shit is real. Why men and women are no longer dating? And that's not true, even. The basic premise of this doesn't even make sense. They still date. I still see so many straight couples out there. A little too many, if you ask me. But that's fine. It's your preference. You don't know what the fuck you want with your life. I don't give a fuck. I'm starting to think that there's not any wisdom I can glean from this. I'm so disappointed. I was so excited. But do there's still 19 seconds left. There's still 19 seconds left. We can get something. Our society is completely trying to reverse both roles so both individuals become this, which does not create attraction, or they both become this, which again does not create attraction. So understand this. Fix and come back to your natural role, and together you and I will restore this balance. That was a fucking cringy way to end this shit. First of all, the fucking god, I, I still like I said, it takes away all agency from the person when you attach all these other things, roles that they have to do, so they can't do anything else. It doesn't give them a choice. What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you saying? Fix and come back to your natural role. Shut the fuck up. That shit is not real. Want to know what the natural of humans is? We eat shit, fuck, sleep, and shit ourselves. That's the natural order of things. Everything else is fucking da da da. What the fuck shit, we, fuck shit we created? Here's what this shit. I'm sure this dude, if he met me, a more masculine trans woman, he'd be like, "What the fuck?" His brain would fucking explode. He'd be like, "Oh my god, I've seen the fucking minds. I've seen the end of the universe." And he'd fucking like explode and internally combust and pop out of existence like all the fucking Big Bang and shit. Just a such a small-minded and narrow view of the world to think that everything can just be reduced down to these basic principles of masculinity and femininity and the yin and the shut the fuck up and one for one second. Be an actual human being and just engage with the people in your life, please. I swear to God. But now that we know this dude says some batshit insane things that would make no fucking sense and I have no actual basis in reality, let's look at him for the cure to depression and anxiety. I'm sure we're gonna gleam something actually incredible from this. Cure to depression and anxiety. Now, these two problems are one and the same except completely flipped. Being depressed on one hand is a lack of energy. It is a depression of movement, do you understand? The way to fix this is to do the exact opposite. It is to begin to take more action. You must understand that our emotion or how we feel follows what we do. So if our action, our motion is depressed, we're lying down, doing nothing, watching movies, playing video games, then of course the emotion will be depressed. That's just not how depression works. <laughs> yeah, depression is actually when you don't move. Depression is when you don't move and you don't do things in your life. That's what makes you depressed. It's not, that's totally not the other way around that things can influence things. There's some nuance to this that I'm definitely not overlooking right now. Have you ever thought about your emotions for more than two seconds this is emotional advice that my dad would give me and dad i love you if you're watching this video i think you're a great father i think you're a great human being but you say shit like this and let me tell you i've tried advice like this before back in school because let me tell you right i'm a trans woman i've, I've been socialized as a man majority of my life i was socialized as a man majority of my life at this point i was a i was a varsity athlete in school i was a varsity athlete in school track soccer all these things i even wrestled for a bit i was constantly in motion i was constantly working out doing shit for a long period of my life i did not have an off season it was year-round sports year-round lifting weights year-round doing this and that and let me tell you something i was still sad as fuck I, still, <laughs> I had missions I was going for, for social media, for soccer, for this different aspects of life. I had goals. I had ambitions. I still have goals and ambitions. I'm not saying I don't have those things anymore, but I had those things. I had those things. I was active physically. I was active mentally. I was in all the top classes at school, all these different things. You would think outside looking in that I was so fucking happy that I was fucking living the life. But the thing was, I was not enjoying myself. I did not feel happiness until I was fucking 18. And now that does have to do with being trans and having to perform something that you're not your entire fucking life. But the thing is that's just not how fucking this shit work like i'm i'm honestly pissed that i'm actually engaging with this like it's an actual reasonable topic i'm not finishing this fucking i'm not finishing this fucking 30 seconds of this video i'm sorry you had 29 seconds to enthrall me 29 seconds to reel me in and you fucking lost it i gave you 29 seconds of my time fuck it i actually fuck it i've been making this video for at least 20 minutes now at least 20 you've had 20 minutes of my time plus the time before filming that i went to look through your fucking videos to find shit to look at you've had hours of my life at this point i'm done with you david i'm sorry but we have to break up i can't do this this relationship isn't healthy but anyways if you like the video click this video right here like the video as well if you fucking want to click the video right there go watch my other fucking videos you'll enjoy them if you like this video i'm in those other videos as well so you're gonna like those too bye